Okay, what's up guys? This is Trey, and this is the third part of my episode on how to create a XRPC tool, and um, this tutorial we will add boots into our um, tool so we can toggle th things like a job, job eye and laser and some more things like that. So, first of all, I edit um, the bull and I and bull I bull to the jump high so what I did is just adding public bull then call it whatever you want I can call the jump for the jump high and then I set it to true alright then I changed um let me just Okay. First of all, I added a if statement. If jump is equal to true, so it's this one is basically like this, but it's just less less coding. So um, then I add two brackets and add the super jump. You can type it whatever you want, and then I added jump is equal to false to to turn it off as soon as you click it on uh, click on it again, and then I just added a else, and then the normal jump, and then I added again the jump equals true. So the next time we click on it, it will be um. It will be um, super jump again. All right, and that's the actually the same thing what I did for uh, the laser. So and now we will add um, the get client state. So we go into our coding and add it somewhere and right here public void now public um, static int and then yeah um, type in get client state it's actually the same uh, um, like get client state so it doesn't matter uh -huh. get and then type in unsigned integer and then client and then type right now we add a return and then we add the address for the player state should be this right and now we add client and then I think it's multiplied by 280 and then plus I think 0x158 oops to add Plus again between this um uh -huh. all right I think we can So you don't need to convert it every time. Alright, now we add a new button. Double click. And then I don't know something like what's in player state? Um no clip. 
Alright, don't click on no clip and then we do dtag dot write int thirty two and then the offset it's get player state then plus no um the climb right need to add int climb is equals to numeric this we need to add a new numeric again alright now we change the maximum to 70 and we can actually uh, change it to minus 1 alright let's remember to get down 3 the value Oops. value alright okay change uh, convert it to an integer and then it's plus uh, 0x3 to for I guess it's this I know I'm not sure and then comma 0x1 um yeah but we for, for the um as there is a minus one there won't be it won't be sent it to all clients so we need to add a for loop for and i oh no hold on we need to add an if statement first then type in if client so the number I get down is equals to minus one like like now um then it need to it need it needs to add a for loop and then we type it in i is um equals to zero i is less than zero x eleven and then i plus plus right and then again we write j take right right int thirty two get play of state client plus zero three two four zero and then comma zero x one and I'll be adding no hold on remove the client and then change it to I because it's defined in this one so it will be sent it to our clients jtake.call um, sv comma um, to all clients is minus one and one again and then then I send her a text saying no code given alright now we change uh, Never mind. Um, now we add. Now we need to. Um, hold on. We just added a um, toggle label uh, button, so we could add this on this one, on this button. So we add. We uh, um, um, rename the text to. Toggle and flex. Oops, and flex. And then double click on there. And we will go up to the um, and write public int equals uh, public public int. And then m flex flex equals zero. All right. Now we. And if m flex is equal to zero, then this will be sent. 
and then again we add m four x plus plus. And now else if m flex is equal to one, then we move this to zero, and then we change it to zero. Zero x two, so it equals the UFO mode. this to zero so then the movement is normal and then we change this to equals to zero so it will be send uh, so we it will be it will be set to zero again so it's so the next button click will be give us no click. Alright and I'm going to test it. Hopefully it works. First of all, we connect again, and then to unflex. And what the fuck? That just kicked me. Mm. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back, and um, I solved the problem because. I didn't have the right um, player state, so um, you can code it with less coding. So I don't know why it's not working. But I just um, use this code. I'm gonna put this into the description, so you can copy and paste it into your code. Um, well, um, what I did now is it's writing an unsigned integer and not an integer. I'm not sure. I'm gonna. I'm going to try it one more time without an unsigned. Um, but I'm not sure. So I'm gonna just connect. Um, well, it's it's working. So, um, then I'm going to click on it again and again. I got no movement. All right, I got shit again. Um, well, sometimes I don't. I just I don't, I don't understand um, C sharp coding. Well, well, you can do both ways. So. Writing an unsigned or writing a normal or integer it doesn't matter. Just do whatever you feel like, and um, well, I guess it's just because now you can type in your integer. Uh, for the other way, it's writing an unsigned integer. Uh, but for the no clip, it doesn't work. Uh, it doesn't. Uh, uh, it doesn't matter. So 
Um, yeah, so... Um, for the no clip it's 0x1 or just 0x... 0x1 um, or just 1. And we'll make it fucking... Anyway. Well... Um, you, you've you mode is 0x2 or just 2 and normal movement is 0x0 or 0. Or zero. So you can do and please. And yeah, I got 50 minutes now. And <sighs> right, hopefully you understand. And in the next tutorial, I will add one of all and probably um, good elements. So stay tuned and. I'll see you in the next part. See you.